Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this fight, we're fighting Silver Surfer in Trial of Reed Richards, Uncollected Mode. And I'm using Wasp, who is a great counter to the Life Cycle node. So let me explain what the Life Cycle node is. The Defender has a shield that prevents them from being knocked out. So when you get down and they got, you know, 1% health, you hit them. Instead of being knocked out while the shield is active, they're going to heal. And so what you want to do to disable the shield is land a heavy. Now, the first time you land a heavy, it'll disable the shield for a certain amount of time. But each time you land a heavy, the time period where the shield is down gets longer and longer. So that makes it easier for you to be able to knock them out uh, the longer that cooldown is. So that means that champions that, you know, rely on their heavies or have strong heavy attacks work great. And because Wasp can combo into a heavy, she does extremely well. Every single combo can include a heavy attack. So when it finally gets down to the end, you're able to take them out pretty easily. Other than that, the fight is pretty straightforward. Now, this is an excerpt from my live stream. If you watched my live stream, you know that I had some trouble early on. I was not familiar with Silver Surfer's animations, and I was trying to learn to evade his specials, and sometimes I messed up and ended up using revives, but it was all good because there was an item use on as well as completion, so we were all good. And I had quite a few in my uh, overflow. But in any case, um, after a few dropped input issues, which kind of got me a little salty, things went pretty smoothly. And this was definitely my best attempt during my initial clear. Now, you don't need a specific counter for him, but it does help, as I mentioned before, to have someone that has a strong heavy attack. Uh, but Ronan is a very good option. He is the cheese guy, all right? He works extremely well, as long as you're not me. Uh, I don't seem to do very well with trying to cheese fights. I just don't, I don't know why, uh, but things just happen. And a lot of the attempts that I had, I was trying to get Ronan to work. And it should have been straightforward and easy, but in my hands, not straightforward and easy. All right, so right off the bat, you saw that I revived Ronan. The first attempt went horribly. I wasn't able to make it to another special one because I fired my special one off too early. Uh, and you're gonna see a couple of attempts and hopefully you'll learn from my mistakes. So you see here, I'm getting right there. I got to the special one, but now I'm not gonna be able to get to another special one. All right, so one of the things that you have to bear in mind when you're using Ronin is the more buffs they have, the stronger your damage and the longer the stun duration on your special one. So you want to have many buffs on the defender. Well, in this fight, Silver Surfer gradually gets more buffs. If you stay close to him, and you are aggressive, you're going to get more buffs on Silver Surfer. That way, when you fire off that special one, it'll have a long enough duration that you can keep him stun locked for the rest of the time. That is the goal. And I messed up in doing that. Like I said, I don't seem to do very well with cheese methods, even though I know the things that you need to do. And this was something that I did have to learn uh, that you want to stay close to him. So one strategy that I would recommend with Ronan is to build up to almost a special two and then fire off the special one and keep him in that corner as much as possible. And by the time you get to your third special one, you shouldn't have any problem. So almost to a special two, Fire off the special one. That stun duration will probably not be that long, but 
you will have more than enough time to get to another special one. And then you should be close to him enough that he's going to have a lot of buffs. And so the stun duration will be even longer. And then you're not going to have a problem after that. So Ronan is the best, easiest option. People can do it with a three-star Ronin. All right, here I am with a five-star rank three Ronin. Uh, something else to keep in mind, I'm running suicides. So that means that I'm taking recoil damage. So a couple of attempts, I took myself out with the recoil damage. I didn't heal up. I was already low in health. And I completely forgot all about it. I'm trying to stun lock him and I'm doing well. And then I suddenly die and I'm like, wait, why did I die? What just happened? Forgot all about the recoil damage. So that's something else to keep in mind. If you're not running suicides, you actually have an easier time. And if you are going in with say a three star or a four star, you don't want to run suicides if you want to use this method. Okay. Um, right there. I just backed up, I guess a little too slowly, uh, or I wasn't swiping fast enough. I'm not sure. Sometimes that happens, uh, especially if your timing is just a little bit off. Um, but once you get used to the animations and everything, you don't have that problem. Now, if you are not running suicides, you might find a better time firing that special one off, you know, as soon as possible, stay in their face and you might be able to get to your special one a second time and take him out. All right. So anyway, uh, item use was on, so I was not too worried about using up these items. In fact, I was happy to do it. Uh, so, uh, I believe this is the final attempt and I was stubborn. This is why I end up using a lot of revives because I get stubborn and I'm like, no, this is supposed to be the easy method. I am not going to just let this go. And you saw that I blocked his special too. That's because what happened last time I got caught by it. I said, never mind. All right. Now see here, see how long the stun duration is. This is how you want to do it. Okay. Look at this. I have plenty of time to get to my special one. And I took a little risk there, but I had the timing down. Now those little misses really kind of throw me off sometimes. So you have to keep in mind, uh, you don't want to go too quickly. All right. With uh, Ronan, you can really mess yourself up. All right. So each time I stun him, he's getting knocked down, which disables the life cycle. I didn't have to do that heavy there. Um, I just felt like it. And so just doing the uh, special one spam, you are going to get him down. All right. So you don't need to weave in any heavy attacks. Just keep firing the special one off. He's going to keep getting knocked down and boom, like you saw there, it's going to have enough time and you're going to be able to take him out. Archangel is also awesome for this fight, especially the final 10%. He is great. That heavy attack and the fact that he will have bleeds and neurotoxins on them makes it trivial. You fire off the heavy, even if it goes down for a little bit, the neuro, if it's on them, or the bleed or the poison that's on them will take them out. So he works extremely well. Symbiote Supreme is another good counter for this fight. So the basic strategy when you're fighting Symbiote Supreme, in fact, this is a good strategy for anyone is once you get him down to, you know, 10% or less health and you're ready to actually take him out, you fire off a heavy, hold a special three in reserve. Don't fire it off. And what you do is you fire the heavy off. And if you've been weaving heavies throughout the fight, you're going to have a nice little amount of time after you fire your heavy off uh, in which you can take him out. So you fire the heavy off, you wait for the life cycle icon to turn gray. When it's gray, that means you can take him out, fire your special three off, 
and you're done. Now, my first attempt using Symbiote Supreme, I had forgotten all that. I had to deal with Lifecycle Node before, but I had just completely forgotten that. And so my first attempt did not go very well. I was just fighting and I think I was confusing the node with another node where all you need to do is uh, hit them enough times to get their charges down and then you can take them out. So I was just fighting, cycling special threes. Uh, at one point in time, I ate a special three from Silver Surfer and survived because I happened to be uh, in that mode where Symbiote Supreme has his uh, armor. All right, so this is an attempt with Ghost. She is not recommended. As you saw right here, when he fired off his heavy, he put armor breaks on her. Now she can't phase. That is a big disadvantage for Ghost. You can fight and play and take him down without being able to phase. But why would you do that when there's plenty of other counters? All right, so you see here, I messed up, got hit with the heavy. He had a special three. I had armor breaks, couldn't phase. Lights out, the fight is over. There's plenty of other counters. I would not recommend going in here with Ghost, okay? Um, I've only mentioned a few. It is not an exhaustive list, but you have Wasp, you have Archangel, you've got Ronin, and you've got Symbiote Supreme. As you saw earlier, Symbiote Supreme is an excellent counter, especially since Silver Surfer gets a lot of buffs. Symbiote Supreme can stagger, which will nullify those buffs, which will do damage. And if you're running Mystic Dispersion, you're going to be cycling special threes like crazy. It makes the fight pretty straightforward and easy, okay? So, that's going to do it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day.